Hello, my name is Eric Fullerton, and I'm going to show you how to properly mix voice with music using Sony Vegas Pro 12. Although these techniques can be used in other editing software, first let's start by removing some of this clutter. So I'm just going to take this line and drag it on up so we can see what we're doing. And let's start by listening to this voice here um, that is uh, untouched and straight off the, the mixer. And here it is. Brent Copeland, Eric Fullerton, and Wes Wilson in Quest for Galel. Okay, so you can barely hear it. Uh, so um, that's that. And uh, here's the music I'm going to mix it with. Okay, it's just some action music. So the first thing uh, that you want to probably do is uh, increase the volume on that and then decrease the volume on the action music. And let's see here with that. Brent Coleman, Eric Fullert, and Wes Wilson in Quest for Galel. So, that's acceptable. Brent Copeland, Eric Fullerton, and Wes Wilson in Quest for Galel. Okay, so if you like that and you're happy with it, then that's it. Stop watching the tutorial. You've done it. But if you want to make it awesome, then uh, let, let's, let's put our volumes back at zero. Let me double click it. I'm gonna show you how to make it awesome. Uh, instead of mixing two tracks using volumes, we're gonna mix them using the equalizer. So if you click this little green button, which is the track effects, that's gonna pop up uh, three default plugins that get applied to every audio track uh, by default. So the first one is track noise gate. We're not gonna even use that at all. Uh, the track EQ, we're going to use that, and the track compressor, we're uh, we're going to use that. So let's go ahead and uh, and compress this. Uh, there's a lot of presets under here, and without getting too technical, there are plenty of other great tutorials explaining what audio compression does. But uh, I want to keep this uh, short and to the point. So. Uh, you can look that up if you want to know the inner workings, but I'm going to show you a, uh, a pretty good preset uh, that I like. And of course, there's no magical number that's going to fit all audio. Uh, so th th this is just probably a good thing that, you know, for, for vocals that you can start off with. Uh, so let's set the threshold to minus 10 dB and the amount. That's the ratio. We're going to go with five on that. And then we're going to go with five millisecond attack. And then down here, we're going to release at 50 milliseconds. We're going to click smooth saturation on. And go ahead and save that as a preset. Save it as vocal. So now when you pull it down, you got vocal here. And that's a really good preset to start off with. From there, you might want to tweak it, depending. But, uh, but let's do that for now. So uh, let's hear how that sounds. I'm going to solo the uh, voice track here and play it and see what it sounds like. Brent Copeland, Eric Fullerton, and Wes Wilson in Quest, Quest for Galel. Okay, um, so I'm going to pump up the output gain. Brent Copeland, Eric Fullerton, and Wes Wilson in quest for Galel. Okay, that's good. And if you notice this red over here, it's clipping or overmodulating, basically meaning that it's too loud for the track and it's going to end up sounding funny, depending on uh, your speaker setup or however you're listening to it. We're not going to address that just yet. Uh, so if you see these clipping, it is a bad thing, but um, I'll, ex I'll explain later how to uh, get rid of that. So for now, Brent Copeland. That's a that's a pretty good voice, right? So let's go down and uh, listen to the mix. Brent Copeland, Eric Fullerton, and Wes Wilson. Okay, it's still pretty crappy. I mean, you can't you can barely hear what he's saying. So uh, you know, again, the common thing is to just turn the music down, right? Brent Copeland, Eric Fullerton, and Wes Wilson in. But what if you want the volume of the the audio or the music to be loud and powerful and cool? Well, here's how you do it. So let's open the plugins on the music track down here. Go to EQ, and we're going to remove the area that the frequencies where the voice comes through. And uh, the, the blue indicates the amount that is being subtracted 
from this uh, the, the frequency band here. So I'm removing this area from the music. And that is because uh, in this frequency range, that's where the, vo the, the vocal will, will be. So his voice will appear in this area. So if I subtract the music from it, you'll hear his voice shine through where this dip is right here. And, uh, the, you know, there's not a magic number. It, it's around here somewhere. And you can increase the bandwidth and make it, a, you know, a sliver or a big wide band. Uh, but keep in mind, the more you cut away from the music, the, uh, the, well, the more the music dynamic will... will will change. So here, let's take a listen. I'm just going to listen to the audio or uh, the music here. That's without. So you can kind of hear how it's how it's uh, treating the uh, uh, the music. Okay, so now both together. Brent Copeland, Eric Fullerton, and Wes Wilson in Quest for Galel. Okay, so it's getting a little better. So let's go back up to the EQ on the top track here, on the vocal track, and we're gonna pump up the area that we just subtracted from the music and add it to the vocal. We're gonna widen it up a little bit, and now listen. Brent Copeland, Eric Fullerton, and Wes Wilson in Quest for Galel. Great, right? Now it's time to mess with the volumes and, and just tweak tweak the volumes a little bit. That's the afterthought. That's what you do after you, you carve away at the frequencies. So now. Brent Copeland, Eric Fullerton, and Wes Wilson in Quest for Galel. Uh, and then uh, also uh, his voice needs to be more booming. You know, it's a trailer guy voice, so you need some more bass in it. Also, we'll put a little notch here and that little high frequency, so his S's and and uh, airiness of his voice kind of shines through. And now let's let's listen. Brent Copeland, Eric Fullerton, and Wes Wilson in Quest for Galel. All right, so you can see how uh, all of these things all work together to get that final mix. And uh, without tweaking it um, for a long time, this is I want to keep this tutorial somewhat short. So let's go to another scenario over here. I'm going to use the same uh, music track here. And uh, we're gonna play around with this voice. Now this voice has already been compressed and treated and it's already good uh, because I've already showed you, showed you that so I don't wanna waste your time. So here's the voice we're gonna mix into something really loud. And you can see how loud the music is. See the waveform? I can zoom in. It's really thick. It starts to thin out a little bit, but uh, here, here's the vocal we're gonna put in there. One man, one weapon, one voiceover. Okay, so we're going to take that guy and we're going to put it behind here. And let's listen to it uh, just uh, without, uh, without this notch. I'm going to uncheck that uh, so that it'll bypass it, so it'll, it'll act as if I didn't do any EQ at all. Uh, the voice track has nothing on it. It's just, just bland. One man. Weapon. Okay, so now let me put that notch back in there, beep, and then go down here, pump up just a, just a little bit because his voice is already pretty nice and booming. I'm just going to give him a little bit of a sliver here, and let's listen to that mix. One man, one weapon, one voiceover, this summer. Earth as we know it will never be the same. Okay, so it's a little difficult to hear this area in here. So you probably want to maybe carve away a little bit more. You can increase the bandwidth just slightly and listen to it. Earth as we know it will never be the same. Will never be the same. Uh, so... Uh, it's just a matter of, uh, you know, tweaking a, a couple little settings here and there and, uh, and, and messing with the, with the volume. So, um, so let's go to a whole nother scenario. We're going to play some nice piano music. But we're going to listen to it a little bit, a little louder over here. 
So it's a little mellow. But the thing here is that we're going to listen to a female vo voice, and it's a little bit different because female voices or higher pitch voices use different frequencies. I know you're a monster. I can't be more than I already am. I'm not the one you're looking for. Okay, so now uh, all together it's this. I know you're a monster. I can't be more than I already am. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out uh, from the music track here, we're going to take out a little sliver uh, above the two, two and a half K range around here. And it's going to be a little sliver too. I'm not going to take much out of it because you don't, you don't need much. Oops. Uh, so let me close that and I'm going to tweak her voice and I'm going to notch up there, make it kind of narrow. And let's listen. I know you're a monster. I can't be more than I already am. I'm not the one you're looking for. Sounds pretty cool. It's a little ringy though. Let me, let me widen it out. It, it's really, um, it depends on your taste and what you're going after. I know you're a monster. So I, I mixed that pretty well without even messing with volumes whatsoever. And uh, let's say we want to, I'm going to undo what we just did to all that stuff here. And I'm going to move one of these tracks to where the music is really quiet. And in fact, sometimes you can just get away with doing volume without EQ. So here's a good example of that. I'm going to set her voice right here where there's some audio going on. I know you're a monster. So you can hear it great, right? Let me pull in this one. I can't be more than I already am. But once it gets into this range, then you have to tweak it. So what, what I would recommend is to treat uh, this section, I'm going to cut there with an S on the keyboard, treat this mix differently from this mix here. So, uh, okay, so let's move on. We're gonna go to the last scenario here, and uh, this also works great for game commentary. And uh, so I have a piece of, uh, of game audio here I recorded from a uh, game of Team Fortress 2. Pretty noisy, a lot of explosions, and here's some, uh, some commentary I want to lay over it. When designing areas for high levels of combat, we try to avoid complexity and chaos. Okay, and already I've pumped the, uh, the sound of the uh, music up uh, way up high, and then the voice way down low, because it was a very loud recording of the voice, a very soft recording of the, uh, of the game. So I wanted to make them uh, both about equal. So that's why I did that before the tutorial. And uh, now uh, the proper way to mix this, of course, is just the same old thing I've been doing. Take, uh, let's see, um, bump up uh, this little range here in the, in the voice. Come down here, do the opposite, and make a little notch there where the, where the voice will shine through. That way you don't, uh, you still want to hear the, all the explosions and all the goodness, so here it is. When designing areas for high levels of combat, we try to avoid complexity and chaos. Complex geometry confuses players, making it hard for them to track enemies. Easy peasy. Let me undo that and let you listen. I don't think I uh, played that. Here, here it is uh, playing. When designing areas for high levels of combat, we try to avoid complexity and chaos. So you can hear them, sure, but it's, it's not comfortable, and listening to that for 20 minutes would really get old. So that's about it. That's uh, the basics. And uh, also, I told you I would uh, tell you about uh, how to get rid of uh, clipping and uh, all the, uh, the red marks here. Brent Copeland. Uh, what you need for that is a limiter. It is another plug-in that you can add to this chain here of effects, which sadly, Vegas Pro does not include a limiter, uh, but uh, you, you need to go and uh, look that up. And uh, in fact, just look up a new tutorial. In fact, I might do a tutorial on limiting and expanding here in the very future. This is my first tutorial here, so I'm just kind of testing the water. So, uh, but that will give you some great sound if you use this technique in, uh, in game commentary, movies, film, even music production. Uh, it should make you sound more like a pro. So there it is. You can watch my other tutorials here on this playlist. You can follow me on Twitter at Eric Fullerton. 
can subscribe to this channel. There'll be more tutorials in the future. Thanks for watching.